So here is Mel Kuyper's uh, defensive tackle rankings. Uh, we've heard a little bit about um, Devontae Wyatt. Could end up being a, a first-round pick from Georgia. Jordan Davis, kind of those tackles from Georgia that kind of led that defense that was so good. Logan Hall from Houston. Then they list Winfrey as the fourth defensive tackle, and then Leal, uh, Leal from um, Texas A&M is uh, listed as the fifth. Uh, when you look at that, the, the, the Georgia guys probably go in the first, first second round. <laughs> if Winfrey gets into the third, keep in mind the Browns have the, comp, the compensatory third-round pick from, um, from allowing the, the, the Quesi Adelfo Mensa to sign as the general manager in developing that. So they get a, 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 a third-round pick between the third and fourth rounds is a compensation pick when he went to the Vikings. So they have two-thirds. That's kind of an interesting thing. If, if um, Winfrey slides that, that far, that might be somebody to keep an eye on. Yeah, and, and that's, that's the big thing is that, you know, when it comes down to it, I think that this Browns, off, or this Browns front office is really going to attack the defensive line room especially because, again, not only do you have more defensive tackle needs in here on the interior, you also have Jadevian Clowney on the on the edge as well. So I think that they're really going to try to attack that position and really focus on getting those pressures generated because that was something where, you know, the defensive tackles that they had this past season, they really struggled. You know, again, Malik Jackson, Malik McDowell, you know, you saw some progress with that throughout the year, but it wasn't necessarily consistent enough with the pressure that you saw from Jadevian Clowney and Miles Garrett. You got a little bit more uh, of a pass rush there from the interior. All of a sudden, you might start to generate those into sacks and create more turnovers. So, you know, somebody like Perion Winfrey, I think, could be interesting. I do love Logan Hall out of Houston as well. Um, and if Devontae White is somehow available there in round two, sure, I'm, I'm there for it. But like you said, I think he could go round one. Uh, but if Winfrey is there or Leal, I actually like Leal. He's a little bit uh, of a raw prospect, but I do like him in that third round area as well. So, you know, if those guys are available, uh, I would absolutely love to bring those guys in and mix those into the defensive tackle depth that the Browns already have.